showed y'all a little short um morning routine before i come in at work but i also wanted to add it in questions people been um asking me ever since i posted the video of us moving to england so i'm on break so i figured i'd just come on here and answer and answer them because it wasn't really it wasn't a lot but i'm gonna answer the main questions questions people been asking i don't know why i can't talk <clears throat> So, one of the main ones people was asking, um, why are we moving to England? My main reason to for moving to England is because um, the school, the school systems. Um, it's so much going on in the school system, and I'm so afraid for my kids. The moment my kids walk out the door, I began praying. I mean, I, I pray anyway, but I'm so afraid 
that is causing me um i have anxiety when they leave at the door um sometimes i can't function because i'm always worrying about if the school is going to get shot up or what's going to happen and i feel like here they're not really doing anything about the schools right now so that's one of the main reasons I I want to move to England that I'm going to move to England because so that my kids can have a safe environment I know crime happens everywhere but right now it's bad so I just feel like they're the school system would be better for my kids that's just my opinion and my opinion is my opinion okay the next one is um what part of england are we moving to we are moving to birmingham england birmingham england the next one is how long will we stay in england um right now I'm going to give England the best that I have in all of me and I'm going to try, try my best to give it all of me for a year and a half. I told my husband a year and a half and if I still can't get in the groove of things, um, I may need to come back. But I'm going to give it my all. I'm going to try and hopefully it's the best thing that happens to us um i'm gonna pray about it and hey i have learned i have learned by listening to steve harvey the best thing is on the other side of fear and i have a fear of change i have the baddest fear of change i don't like change um if it's not broken, don't fix it. I mean, yeah. If it's not broken, don't fix it. Well, in this situ in this situation, it may be broken. Because, yeah. Yeah, so we're not going to use that. But, um, yeah. I'm going to give it a year and a half. And if that year and a half is the greatest thing that happened, then it may be my forever home. We'll see. We just... We're just playing it by ear, playing it by sight, and playing it and walking with God. That's what we're doing. Um, someone else asked, what's the process of moving to England? For me, my process may be a little bit easier because my husband, he's British. He's from England because I'm married to my husband. Um that's how i'm going because we are married if you're not married to um someone who's british um i don't know how that would go i really don't know so i don't really have an answer for that one but my process is a lot easier and the last one would be how do i feel about moving um, I put that, I kind of put all that in my last video uh, when we told you all we are moving to England. Um, I have different emotions all the time. Different. Every day. Just last week I was like, oh, I don't want to go. I don't, I don't think I'm ready. And today I'm like, oh, let's do this. Let's go. My bags can be packed tomorrow and we can roll out so it all depends how I'm feeling I think I think that's normal because like who who wouldn't be afraid to just get up and leave so yeah I think it's normal the feelings that I'm feeling the emotions that I'm having like I said um we're going somewhere and starting all over again so yeah 
and that was all the questions i answered them to the best of my abilities i hope that helped someone and um let me know if y'all have more questions i'll see y'all in the next video